All right, I'm ready. Good evening. I'm Dr. Emmett Brown. I'm standing on the parking lot at Twin Pines Mall. It's Saturday morning, October 26th, 1985, 118 a.m. And this is temporal experiment number one. Come on, I need... Hey, boy, get in there. That a boy. In you go. Get down. Get your seatbelt on. That's it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Please note that Einstein's clock is in precise synchronization with my control watch. Got it? Right, Jack Doc. Good. Have a good trip, Einstein. Watch your head. You got that thing hooked up to the car? Watch this. Yeah, okay. Got it. Not me. The car. The car. My calculations are correct. When this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're gonna see some serious shit. Watch this, watch this! Occurred at exactly 1.20 a.m. and zero seconds! Ow! Doc, what would happen to the car? Calm down, Marty. I didn't disintegrate anything. The molecular structure of both Einstein and the car are completely intact! Where the hell are they? The appropriate question is, when the hell are they? You see, Einstein has just become the world's first time traveler! I sent him into the future! One minute into the future, to be exact, and at precisely 1.21 a.m. and zero seconds, we shall catch up with him and the time machine. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Doc. Are you telling me that you built a time machine? Kind of a DeLorean? The way I see it, if you're gonna build a time machine into a car, why not do it with some style? Besides, the stainless steel construction made the flux dispersal Look out! Uh, Doc? Oh, that's peculiar. Uh, where's the car, Doc? It should have caught up with us 27 seconds ago. Doc, uh, wh what happened to Einstein? No need for concern. It's probably just a minor miscalibration of the time.